Airdrops are one of the craziest things about the entire crypto space. You know, think about just being an early user to an application and then getting rewarded with thousands of dollars in free cryptocurrency. You know, this has happened to me several times with applications like Uniswap, ENS, One Inch Exchange, and so much more. I know some of that sounds too good to be true, like it might be a scam, but it's 100% legit because you have all these different crypto projects that are trying to release new tokens. And the playbook for doing this is to reward early adopters who have actually used the application so that you can bootstrap a healthy ecosystem. In this video, I'm going to talk about a brand new opportunity with the Arbitrum platform that is likely to do an airdrop in the future, in my opinion, and how you can position yourself for this. So before we get into that, you know, if you're new around here, Hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to learn how to master blockchain step-by-step -step start to finish, then head on over to adaptuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. All right, so let's talk about how to get in on this potential Arbitrum airdrop. So let's kind of set the stage for how these crypto airdrops work in the first place. Let's use past examples. So let's talk about the Uniswap airdrop, for example. That was one of the first major airdrops that kicked off this whole strategy, where basically you get people who have actually made transactions on the blockchain with your application, and then you take a snapshot of that, and then you airdrop tokens to you know people who have done that. So the playbook is basically trying to figure out who does not have a token yet and then start doing transactions with that technology, uh, hoping that they are going to do this. Now, I think there's a lot of reason to think that they're going to launch a token because in many ways, it's sort of like the idea that whoever doesn't have a token yet is probably going to have a token. And particularly with Arbitrum, it's a layer two scaling solution that doesn't have any kind of cryptocurrency associated with it. And at some point, I think we're going to need some sort of economic incentives to reward people on the network. And that's why I think there's going to be a big probability that they're going to do an airdrop. And one reason why this could be such a big deal is because right now, at the time we're recording this video, things are pretty bearish in the crypto space. And if we're in some sort of long wintry crypto bear market, you know, those can be times where you actually build a real strong community with tokens like this. And that's a time that, you know, an airdrop can be much more meaningful than just some frothy bull market where people don't really care. and They're just going to dump tokens automatically. Okay, so let's talk about what Arbitrum is so that you can position yourself for this airdrop. So it is a layer two scaling solution on top of Ethereum. So what is that? Well, one of the biggest complaints about Ethereum is it's too slow. It's too expensive to use for most people. And I think Ethereum 2.0 has to ship before that can be fixed. Well, that's not really true. Ethereum 2.0 is not going to fix that problem. Uh, but that's what layer two scaling solutions are for. And that's been the end, end game for Ethereum for quite some years now. So basically, this is where you create a second you know, layer on top of Ethereum where you do the transactions. It's kind of like a separate blockchain where all the uh, finality of those transactions is included back on the main chain. You can see a list of all those different layer two scaling solutions on a website like l2beat.com. You can see Arbitrum, Optimism. Okay, Arbitrum is at the top of the list here. Optimism is another popular one for optimistic rollups. They're very similar. Okay. Now, another reason to think that Op Arbitrum is going to do an airdrop is because, you know, well, guess what? Optimism has done an airdrop. And because it's such a main competitor chain, like, it stands to reason they're probably going to do an airdrop of some kind. All right, so now let's talk about how to position yourself for this airdrop. Now, you know, full disclosure, there's no way to know exactly how they're going to, you know, reward people. You can go look at other airdrops that have happened in the past, like Uniswap, ENS, right? And you can also look at recent ones like uh, optimism because they're starting to get kind of advanced in how they do some of these things to, you know, filter out people who are just airdrop farming. But I'm going to give you some, some ideas. So first and foremost, you want to get onto the network and start doing some transactions so that you can, you know, use dApps and stuff like that. So the main way to do this is by using a bridge. So this is just a, some technology that lets you connect your MetaMask wallet and take funds. So in this case, like cryptocurrency, like Ether, for example, and then move them over to the Arbitrum ecosystem. So you need a MetaMask wallet, you need to go to bridge to Arbitrum IO and use it. So I'll, I'll talk about that later in the video. I'm just gonna give you the high level overview for now. If you want to practice this, I highly recommend doing it on a test network first before you do the main net. And of course, don't bridge any of funds that you can't afford to lose because there's always risks associated with using bridges when you're getting on these ecosystems. Okay. So once you're on the ecosystems themselves, you can look at some different uh, applications and start using them. Okay. So you can think about it. lots of applications that exist on Ethereum right now have uh, deployments to Arbitrum, like one inch exchange. It'd be a pretty easy strategy just to swap some tokens, like take your Ether and swap it for USDC and vice versa, uh, or some other coin, right? Uh, or even you had stable coins, you could just swap stable coins around. So one thing I want to mention here also is you're going to need Ether in order to use Arbitrum in the first place, because that's how you pay the gas fees. 
Um, that's the whole beauty of layer twos. Like they're they're meant to help Ethereum scale and you need Ether to continue paying the gas fees in those ecosystems. So even if you decide to swap stable coins around, you still need to you know pay with Ether for gas fees, but the fees are a lot cheaper than the Ethereum network once you're on uh, the ecosystem itself. So I want to draw your attention though to two other main efforts uh, that could likely uh, be a factor in who gets airdrops and how much. So the first one is going to be this thing called Arbitrum Odyssey. Okay, so basically Arbitrum Odyssey is going to be an event where you can participate with different projects uh, in Arbitrum, okay, and then you can get like rewarded with free to mint NFTs. So there's some potential upside for this, even if this doesn't qualify you for the airdrop because you're going to get, you know, NFTs for doing this. Okay, so this is going to be, this is going to start, I believe, in June. Okay, so definitely go check out the Arbitrum Twitter account for or their medium for any official announcements uh, for off-chain labs about, you know, when this is actually going to go live. But there's a lot of people think that participation in Arbitrum Odyssey is going to give you, uh, you know, a leg up in potentially getting the Arbitrum airdrop whenever it comes out. Again, nobody knows for sure, but that's that's a likelihood. All right. So other initiative that, you know, very well could factor into the Arbitrum airdrop eligibility is Arbitrum Nitro. So what is that? Well, right now, uh, the layer two scaling solution that you know and can use today is called Arbitrum One. That's the current version. And they're upgrading to Arbitrum Nitro, I believe, later this year. Okay, so I don't have an official uh, deadline on on when that's going to happen. But that actually could be the time when they do some sort of airdrop. Like, that could coincide with, um, you know, the the launch of Arbitrum uh, Nitro. So, right now... You know, they have uh, Arbitrum Nitro set up on a dev network. So basically a test network for Arbitrum Nitro, this new scaling solution on top of the Gorley test network for Ethereum. So, you know, Ethereum supports multiple networks. Basically, you've got, you know, the Ethereum mainnet. That's where all the cryptocurrency is valuable. Then you have these test networks like Robson, Rinkaby, you know, Kovan, Gorley, right? And so you can build that layer two on top of any of those networks. And so right now, if you want to use the Gorley network, you can start using Arbitrum Nitro. And there's a chance that, you know, if you are a participant in the developer applications for those, that, you know, your wallet could be eligible for the airdrop, airdrop, airdrop on the main app. Now, we don't, we don't know for sure. That would be one of the first times we've ever seen uh, people incentivize test network participation. And there's a small chance that that won't happen because, I mean, it doesn't cost people anything. You can just write a bot that spams that thing. But uh, it's it's a little bit of speculation, but it's worth, you know, taking a shot. All right, so those are some ideas on how you could become eligible for the Arbitrum airdrop. And so we, if you take some notes from the past airdrops, like Optimism, for example, like you probably don't want to just bridge over once and then like do one transaction because that's probably not going to make you eligible. You probably want to have some transactions on multiple different days um, using some of the applications that are like listed here on the Arbitrum 1 portal, okay, or doing some of the tasks that I just mentioned with Arbitrum Odyssey or Arbitrum Nitro. But the first thing you definitely need to do is use the bridge. So, again, I'm going to show you to do this on a test network, okay? I'm just on Rinkaby. Uh, you can go to your MetaMask and change accounts here uh, to the Rinkaby test network. All right, you can also go to add L2 network on the Arbitrum bridge, uh, and it will add the Arbitrum Rinkaby uh, so that you have the ability to do that. Okay, I'm going to switch back to uh, Rinkaby here. Okay, so I highly recommend if you're not comfortable you know, moving cryptocurrency around with bridges and MetaMask that you try it to see what it's like on a test network. It doesn't cost you anything. Like you can get free cryptocurrency uh, from the Rinkaby faucet from Chainlink. You can just go to faucet.chain.link forward slash Rinkaby and you can just request like some free uh, uh, Ethereum cryptocurrency or Ether to do this. So basically you would just use a bridge like this. Uh, you can enter in the amount. I'm going to say zero. Let's see here. Zero point one. All right. And then it shows your layer two balance. You just click deposit. All right. It's going to say, hey, you're going to deposit to Arbitrum. You're going to move the funds, sign the transaction with MetaMask. Okay. Click confirm. And you'll wait for this to finish. So the estimated arrival time is about three minutes. And when that's finished, uh, you can see the L2 transaction ID. Uh, here's the Rinkaby transaction. So we'll just refresh this, wait for it to get done. All right, and so that's finished. Um, now, if you go back to the status page here on Arbitrum, it's you know it's confirmed on layer one. Now we're waiting on layer two. So the estimated arrival time is about ten minutes. I probably won't wait for the entire uh, thing to finish off this video. But basically, what you want to do is see what the experience is like before you try it on mainnet, and also don't try to do it with any funds that you could afford to lose. Okay, so what we can't afford to lose is what I mean. 
So basically, you know, once you're on the ecosystem, like figure out, like, like look at the process of bridging on and then, you know, withdrawing because with optimistic rollups, you have a delayed withdrawal period. You can't just get it back instantly. In some cases, you have to wait a, multiple days before you can actually get that off. There's other ways that you can, you know, use portals to speed that process up, but that adds additional trust assumptions. That's why I say look at the entire process and go through it on a test network in particular before you try to bridge your funds over on the main net. But what, if you do it on the main net, then that's when you can start using these applications like, you know, one inch or Aave. Okay. Basically you can just click through any of these applications. This would be the easiest one to be just like swap some tokens. And then you can just connect to the Arbitrum version. It's going to ask you to connect to the Arbitrum main net. It'll give you the RPC URL, the chain ID. Okay. Just click approve and then switch network. And you'll see, um, you know, you'll see the option to do that here. It works just like any other Ethereum dApp does. You just change the RPC URL. You're on the Arbitrum network. You can do swaps and you can do them for a fraction of the cost that you would on the mainnet. And then, you know, you can leave your funds on the Arbitrum ecosystem or you can withdraw them back to the uh, Ethereum mainnet whenever you're finished. All right, so that's an overview of how to position yourself for the Arbitrum airdrop. Okay, so again, there's no guarantee that this is going to happen. And even if it does happen, you don't know the exact criteria uh, for, you know, how they're going to make different people eligible for this airdrop. But the best shot that you have is basically to, you know, bridge your funds over the network and start using uh, multiple different things on multiple different days, okay? You they actually look at some of the playbook for how Optimism did this. We could likely see an answer in how uh, Arbitrum does this. Now, now, the cool thing about Optimism is basically, you know, they're doing a rolling airdrop where even if you don't meet the initial criteria, there's still gonna be some chances in the future. So you could definitely check that out. I think this is a really great thing to happen right now while the crypto market's kind of down and, uh, you know, people are a little, you know, it's much quieter in the space. That's a great opportunity to build community, which ultimately is what you want with a token like this. And so I'm super excited for you all to, uh, you know, get a shot at this. So that's all I got for today. As always, you know, smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. It really helps these videos out so then we'll be going about blockchain. And if you're as fast at this technology as I am, you want to get your hands dirty, how can you get started today? You can go to my YouTube homepage. You can find my free courses there. They're like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. And if you like those and you want to take the next step or hey, maybe you want to take a master shortcut entirely, I can show you how to become a blockchain master step-by-step -step, start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You have to be an expert to get started today. About people with zero coding experience become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. And until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.